Hello, hello everybody, Erica here with All Things Parks and I have come out to Disney's Animal Kingdom for a very special reason and that reason is this week Betty White would have turned 100 and she had an extreme love for animals and I have an extreme love for not only Betty White but the Golden Girls so I have come out to Animal Kingdom to give her a little bit of a 100th birthday celebration. Now there are a few things that Betty White loved just as much as animals and that's going to be her pre-dinner cocktail which she never skipped. And that is some life advice or a life motto instead of a kuna matata that I have learned to live by. And she also loved cheesecake. So if you know her character from Golden Girls, you know she loves cheesecake and she loves Disney. And she is definitely a character that I have learned to relate to my entire life. And still to this day, I watch Golden Girls every single night before bed. So just a few of the Disney references that I remember most is an episode where she suggests doing something a little crazy, going to Disney World, riding the teacups, she even had a romantic relationship with a man at Disney who played Goofy. And when Dorothy asks her, uh, what happened with you and Goofy? She's like, uh, he took his head off. And my ultimate favorite is when she got a little tipsy on New Year's Eve. She had too many margaritas. You know what she thought? She was a broomstick from Fantasia. So all in all, if I am not Rose, I don't know who is, but Betty White is an absolute legend. She's beautiful, she's hilarious and she is somebody that we are going to celebrate today because she deserves a grand 100th celebration. So let's head out to Animal Kingdom, see some animals, get a pre-dinner cocktail, and of course, as a true golden girl would, let's go get some cheesecake. exactly does one wear to a Betty White birthday celebration and I have one answer for you. Go for gold. We got all the golden girls there but of course Betty White on top here looking as beautiful as always. But I headed out to Pandora World of Avatar to Swatili Canteen because this is the place you are for sure going to find some cheesecake every day possible and they have a beautiful blueberry mousse gorgeous uh, little presentation here they also have a little bit of a raspberry glaze on here so let's dig in this has been around for a while it's a fan favorite for sure there is layers on layers in there of just deliciousness it's so good it it's not a true cheesecake because it is a mousse cheesecake, but the whipped acidity that you get from that actual whipped cheese is amazing. And you get the slightest sweetness from the blueberry that just counteracts with the tanginess of the cheesecake mousse itself. So this is a definite winner, and if you've not had it, definitely get out to Pandora and try it. But on Golden Girls, nearly every episode when anything goes wrong they have a cheesecake or ice cream or something and Dorothy always goes I'll grab the spoons and the bowls and then Blanche is just like I'm gonna grab the ice cream and Rose is always in charge of grabbing the whipped cream and the chocolate sauce so definitely I must stop to have to, to commemorate Betty White as Rose and up next after I finish this deliciousness we're gonna head out and see some animals and think of her even more. We have ventured on over from Pandora to Africa and we are headed on to Kilimanjaro Safaris. It is a little bit later in the evening so I'm hoping we get to see a lion roar, which is my favorite animal. Let's go see how many animals we can see. Again, this one's for Betty. Yay, yay, yay. It is only a 20 minute wait and I don't even believe that it's going to be that long. So let's go folks, 20! fingernails and hair. I knew this would be the perfect time for a safari. Look at the rhino is up and, and he's moving. Using, you might be able to see his upper lips. It's really cool. Super it's exciting. It's a prehensile upper lip. So you might be seeing it kind of move around almost like a finger. It's very flexible so it helps Yay. him grab the leaves off of the trees um, and the Nile crocodile. Uh, now it is really important to remain seated while we're on this bridge above them. 
crocodiles are ectotherms or cold-blooded, so they can't produce their own body heat like we can. They do have to stay and reach heights of 18 to 20 feet tall, while baby giraffes are born at 6 feet tall. And if you see those two little horns on their heads, those are called ossicones. They're a little different than just regular horns because they grow underneath their skin and their fur. Um, there's two, it looks like. Oh no, there's actually four. There's two up there to the left and over there as well. These are African elephants. You can tell by those very large sized ears that they have, um, as opposed to like Asian elephants that have much smaller ears, you'll see. African elephants also have tusks in both females and males. And there's a little, she's not necessarily a baby elephant, but she's about five years old. You can still see how small she is though, uh, compared to the others. And her tusks are just starting to grow in. The flamingos are getting some food, so they kind of want some too. Uh, flamingos actually don't, they're not born pink. They are born gray and start to turn pink from all the shrimp that they eat. Oh. Actually, there's three. There's one laying down all the way in the back, if you see her. Um, cheetahs are the fastest land animals on Earth. On, on average, they can reach speeds at around 65 miles per hour. Um, pretty long, and it gets like pretty wide towards the end. They'll use it like a rudder on a boat. So they'll kind of like swing it in the direction they want to turn it while they run. It's going to help really close, actually. So he's starting to wake up as the sun starts to go down. They are nocturnal animals. So they're more active during the night time. They sleep about 18 hours of their day to hunt at night. Although it's not the male lion that hunts for food. He's got all that pretty hair and it does weigh about 40 or 50 pounds. So it can weigh him down quite a bit if he's trying to uh, run around. So the females, wherever they, they should be on the other side. Um, the females will go out to hunt for food while he stays back to watch over the pride. Oh, he's so sleepy but at night is when it gets about six times better than ours so that they can see their prey in the dark. That was an absolutely incredible safari. So we got to see basically all of my favorite animals up close and personal with giraffes, elephants, and of course, lions. And if you could hear my safari driver, that lion's mane weighs about 40 to 50 pounds and my favorite animal is a lion because I think my mane weighs about 30 to 40 to 50 pounds. So I saw him eyeing me. He knew I was one of his own. Absolutely incredible safari. So many animals out. We miss the lion roar, but I know Betty was there with us. She saw the rhino. She saw everything going on. That means there is one piece left to our celebration and that is our pre-dinner cocktail. Let's head out and find some vodka. Wahaha! I actually park hopped right on over to Epcot because I had to hit up Norway Pavilion because Rosen Island is of course from the Viking town of St. Olaf in Minnesota. So I had to head over to Norway to celebrate the land of our ancestors, Norway. So let's head inside, get some Viking spirit going and celebrate my favorite girl from St. Olaf, Betty White, or as we know her, Rose. Of course, had to get my Viking ears, but Rose has shared so many fun stories from St. Olaf. A lot of times, nobody really cared, but one of my favorites was definitely the juggling heron. So if you don't know what I'm talking about, Google it because it is hilarious. With that, Betty White loved vodka, so we're gonna head out. It's kind of chilly, a lot of breeze going on, so we might get like something like a Viking coffee. We'll see if we can sneak in some vodka for Betty White. There is one place to head into for a hot beverage here in Norway, and it's none other than the Kringla Bakery. So let's head inside. So I love this because in the actual Golden Girls, their kitchen is lined with a bunch of these uh, copper cake pans. There is an infamous one that is in the shape of a lobster that is in their kitchen. And Sometimes it doesn't always look like a lobster. I didn't know for a while it was a lobster. It looks more like something else. But I loved it so much that I went ahead and found myself a lobster cake pan. And it is currently hanging in my kitchen. So this is fun that, surprise, we have some Golden Girls sets. But it's really not actually from Golden Girls. It's just part of the Kringla. What the Kringla is known for is definitely the school bread, and that's featured here with Olaf on it. It is a fried dough with a custard, but they are also known for their 
horns as well as their kringola which again is a fried pastry and it has some chocolate or almonds depending on your choice so it is not vodka but it is a viking coffee and this is coffee hot because it's freezing and windy out today we have baileys so it's going to be super creamy i hope and then it's topped off with some coffee liqueur the spirit of my ancestors. Shout out to Maelstrom. But today we did celebrate Betty White and what would have been her 100th birthday. She has been so funny and got into so many people's lives, given us so many laughs over her 99.9 .9 years here on this earth. So thank you, Betty. And as she said best, age only makes you better unless you're a banana. So definitely words to live by. Happy birthday, Betty. Thank you so much for all of the laughs.